everybody, buckaroos. This your old pal Gabby Hayes coming at you with another one of them rip roaring western yarns. <laughs> You're darn tootin'. Yes, sir, -y Bob. You know, buckaroos, I'm tired. One of the water pipes in the ranch house sprung a leak last night, and I was up all night long fixing it. I wish my old uncle had been there. He'd have fixed it. Plumber Hayes, he was known as. There was the greatest plumber in the whole United States. And Texas. Yes, sir. But as good as he was, one time he had his troubles, too. Well, he was just getting ready to go to bed one night on the farm, and one of the water pipes sprung a leak. So he went down, got ready to fix it. Before he could do a thing, there was another leak sprung. And then another leak. And then another one. And another one. Before you could say Gabby Hayes, there was five leaks going down that cellar. Well, sir, that water gushed out of there and spurted for 68 days and 406 hours. And when it got through, there was five great big puddles of water out there. And you want to know something? They're right there to this very day. Folks calls them the Great Lakes. Yeah, yeah. Well, today's yarn is about a tough town that people pass through in a hurry if they could. The last stagecoach didn't even reach there before the people was robbed. Things was bad until... Marshal Cheyenne Davis was called. I'll be shooting up the town. Hey, Lassie, I'm out of cartridges. Run over to Hilton and get a couple of boxes, will you? Right. Here comes one of them. Let me handle in my way. boxes of 45s. We have any. And even if we did, I wouldn't sell them to you. Oh, a funky little gal, eh? I kind of like your type. Don't touch me. Little Spitfire, eh? I'm asking you for those three boxes of ammunition. And I'm telling you they're not for sale. Then I'm taking them. Just a minute. So what can I do for you? Maybe I can do something for you. You'll keep out of this. The lady's waiting on me. That's not true. I refused to sell this man ammunition, and he tried to take it. Without paying for it? That's right. Maybe that'll teach you to mind your own business. The next time, you'll sell me what I asked for. That goes for you, too, Pop. Pay the lady what you are. Take out what I owe you. I told you that ammunition's not for sale. What's the matter with my money? Ain't it no good? You heard what the lady said. She's not selling. Now pick up your money and get out of here. Just a minute, mister. 
There's five more shells in this gun. You might need them. I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Uh... My friends call me Cheyenne. Did I see wrong, or did that left-handed fellow have three ladies' rings mixed up with that money? Did you see the Miss... Miss, uh... Hilton, Jane Hilton. Yes, I saw the rings. One was a very pretty cameo. I'd recognize it again anywhere. What do you figure is keeping Lefty? I think he's gone off his nut a little from the licking he took. Just how do you figure that? He rides the hills all day trying to track down that stranger. He's not tracking him because of the licking he got. Then why? Because he flashed those rings when he went to pay for the cartridges and the stranger saw them. About time he was showing up. You don't look so good, Lefty. You wouldn't look so good either if you had the finger on you like it's on me. They got me tabbed as left-handed. So what? They got me tagged as Pee-wee. That's only a moniker. You can change that any time. I was born left-handed and you can't change that. Besides, that stranger knows I had the dame's rings. I'll get him. If it's the last thing I do, I'll get him. You listen to me. You're going crazy. You act like this is the first job we ever pulled. Why, we're all in this thing together. Now lay low and settle down for a while. You're just jumpy. I know what I'm going to do, and I ain't being stopped. I'll blast him. He'll get his neck in a noose. And ours, too. Did you ever think what might happen if he gets tripped up? Well, sir, Cheyenne got his first taste of the Decker gang, and Lefty got a taste of Cheyenne. Only Lefty didn't like what he tasted. So he decided to get rid of the bad taste. Saw that fighting friend of yours in town yesterday. Bought the last sack of potatoes the old man Hilton had. How do you know? I was in Hilton's store and saw him. The old man's gonna drop the potatoes off at the stranger's place on his way to Hagerstown. What a break. What a break. Just leave the potatoes. Hello there! Hi, folks. Oh, 
Judge, to pay this for you, where will I put them? Well, inside the shack, I'll help you. coming out. Food draw. That trench is old as the hill. Say, mister, who are you? After Cheyenne captured Lefty, he held him prisoner. But he fed him and treated him real fine. You know, kind of looked after his health. In fact, he felt Lefty needed some exercise. So he turned him loose and let him walk back to town. Yes.
Which one do you have? Give me a whiskey. Little bourbon. Where have you been? Oh, hello, Decker. I asked you, where have you been? That ain't friendly. What happened to your shooting hand? I had an accident. Sure, when you were making your left-handed draw. You're wrong, Decker, so help me. Don't lie to me. You went gunning for that stranger. Did he beat you to the draw? I'll beat the truth out of you. Lay off. I don't feel so good. Let me alone. Talk. I'm listening. Like you said, the stranger beat me to the draw. How'd you find him? I trailed Hilton's wagon when they left town. I told him that Hilton was delivering a sack of potatoes to the stranger. And you're as dumb as lefties crazy. Why didn't you tell me? That ain't friendly, Decker. And the stranger wasn't friendly when he plugged your hand. He was too friendly. He tended my hand and fed and bedded me down until he turned me loose. So he turned you loose. But your horse got here before you. Did he turn him loose too? I lost my horse during the shooting. Another stranger trailed your horse here and maybe out to my place. No galoot with a beard. Whiskers knows you too. How about it? The two of them work together. Where do they hang out? The old Bonanza diggings. All right, boys, we're going to pay him a visit. Come on. Cleared out. Yeah. Now move closer to pay dirt. These diggings were just the beginning. You're welcome to the shack. They knew we'd come here. I may be a little rusty. I ain't had a checker game since Sheriff Hodgins passed on. Better keep your eye on the game. I guess I was wrong. Your mind ain't wandering. Hudgens fell for that play once and didn't talk to me for three days. Hey, Pop. Take a look out the window. Do you know that fellow riding in front? Yeah. Name's Decker. First time I've seen him in town for quite a spell. Decker. Cheyenne! Come out here. Dude Bracken just rode into town. I understand he's known as Decker here. Decker's the head of the gang that drove us out of Temecula. When I take Dude Bracken, I'll relieve you folks of Decker, too. Well, your friends have cleared out. People coming back to Temecula and those two showing up here isn't just coincidence. There's one of them, boss, the old guy. Invite him over here for a drink. Won't you join us? Well, I don't mind if I do. Sure nice weather for drinking. You know, this ginger beer is mighty invigorating. I hear you and your partner pulled up stakes. Yeah. Who ever said this gold in them hills is crazy? <laughs> you figuring on leaving these parts, you and your partner? Well, uh, kind of yes, kind of no. Depends. Uh, this place is kind of growing on me, and everybody's been so nice. Uh... Oh, uh, order up another drink, because this one's on me. <laughs> You've had enough of that belly wash. From now on, everything's on me. I'm doing the ordering. Surprise me. To throw away my ginger beer is right wasteful of invigoration. And you're right wasteful of conversation. From now on, get to the point. Mister, where is your partner? Gosh, that's hard to say. You see, he ain't here. If you know what's good for you, you'll talk. I asked you, where is he? Up to now, everybody's been so friendly. All right, mister, have it your way. Hold everything! 
Keep him covered, buddy. <laughs> I've tracked you a long time, dude, Bracken. So, it was you all the time. I left you a note up the shack. What made you so sure I'd pay you a visit there? Three rings, a sack of potatoes, and left his horse. One shot, that's the signal. That's the signal. You did me a favor, Cheyenne. That shot was a signal. That's my outfit out there in the street. That's right, dude, it was a signal. What's up, Decker? Get hands, get them up empty. They'll all be right in, boss. Stay where you are. You ain't got no authority here. You're over the county line. You're wrong. We've got plenty of authority. United States Marshal Cheyenne Davis made us his deputies. You're all under arrest. my telegram? Sure. Didn't you get my answer? I'll say I did. I'm taking a hand in this. Stay out of this, Sheriff. That's Cheyenne's fight. And he wants to take him alive. I'll be right after you. I want to take you back to stand a fair trial. You'll have to show yourself to do that, Cheyenne. It's your choice. I'm coming after you. He's all yours, Sheriff. You're not blamed for this. You put the Indian sign on us when you stole that woman's rings. Take him into the saloon, boys. That's the biggest place I know of to hold him. And them bandits won't be stealing any more rings, will they, huh? No, sir. You know, speaking of rings kind of reminds me of an old uncle of mine. Gold Ring Hayes, he was known as. There's a man that had more gold rings than anybody in the whole world. Hmm? Collected them, you know. He wouldn't collect anything but gold ones. No silver or brass or anything. Always gold. Well, he must have had about a jillion of them. Must have had. And one time, a bunch of folks, they wanted to see him. We had so many, and he had a great big table out in the front yard, so he put them all on the table out there for the folks to look at. Well, sir, great big windstorm come up. Picked all of them rings up, and they went sailing through the air. And when they come down, they come right down in a pond. And you know he never got one of them back. But the next day he went down there, and swimming around that lake was the first goldfish the world has ever known. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, I reckon that's just about all for today, buckaroos. But well, I'll be back next week with another ripper in Western Yarn. Hey, you're dirty. Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs>